Hey guys, welcome to day 159 of my carnivore journey. I am feeling good today. It is a Friday. I don't know why that feels good to me. I have to work both my jobs. I had to work my day job and I'm getting ready to work my second job. So, but I think it's just knowing that I don't have to get up and work tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, but I'm always working because obviously with the website, allcarnivoreinfo.com, guys, we're going to talk about the update. I'm not going to drone on, but guys, look, see, <laughs> I got the shirt. So I got the shirt. Um, they're really comfortable. They're gilded shirts, um, but really comfortable. I recommend, hey, if you guys want to spread the word, it's the first time I got it in. So I wanted to show you guys. I was proud of it. So I wanted to show you guys, my family. Um, okay. Uh, as far as my health wise goes, though, today, I got to quit bumping the mic. Is this mic? This microphone placement is temporary, by the way. Um, I'm going to be getting a new desk and new monitors over the next of course in the next few months. So this is kind of temporary, guys. So just bear with me whenever I bump the mic because I'm going to have a different setup and that way I can, I'm more, an see, I'm animated with my hands and then I start bumping stuff, even with a boom mic. <laughs> so, all right. Anyways, uh, D uh, dinner i had the other half of that pizza so that's why my thumbnail didn't have um pizza or that's why i don't have a photo of my dinner it's just the other half of my carnivore pizza um i did have for lunch i had what did i oh three pieces of bacon i took three pieces of bacon with me um to work because you know i don't want to keep buying hot dogs every day i mean it, it you know money wise adds up and um normally I'm going to be taking deviled eggs, but I'm still going through those over medium uh, eggs. So once I get done with those, I will um, do some over or some hard boiled eggs and I'll be taking those to work with me. But I took three pieces of bacon and it was nice because like around like 1130, I just kind of ha had like a little mild hunger and I, I could have powered through it. But I went and had like one piece of bacon, then around like one i think i had like the second piece of bacon and, and then like a half hour later i think i had like the third <laughs> so um i spread it out a little bit and it was so good uh, bacon snacks are so good oh especially when the bacon is just done right you know um but yeah i, I want to just say guys again thank you all so so much for all your support um seriously i i just i'm blown away with all the love and support you guys keep giving me. But um, as far as um, as far as my my poop, uh, I did have a small poop today. It was fairly normal. So I hope that I'm back on track, <laughs> so to speak. Um, but as you know, as far as carnivore journey goes, I really hope that you guys stick it out long term. I do. Um, that's why I talked a little about yesterday about always remember your goals. Like, don't forget what's at stake. And it's easy to get complacent or it's easy to want to get back to the world, especially when you lose weight. I know even when I was yo-yo dieting, even though I was miserable and I always wanted to eat something, once I did lose like 40 pounds or something like, cause you know, I would lose weight on those other diets. You, most people do, but I would sort of find myself just giving up because I wanted to just kind of go back. I thought, well, I can handle it. I've lost weight. You know, I, I don't really need to, 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 to put any effort in. And that's what I wanted to pass on again is just make sure you keep putting the effort in because carnivore is not hard. You don't have to track calories. You you really don't. Some people, they track things. They, they track a lot of stuff. They count a lot of th stuff. And, th and that's their choice. But for me, I, I feel like I want to keep it as easy as possible. But it still takes a little bit of effort compared to just, you know, swinging into like uh, fast food and and running in and getting meals that are throwing the microwave kind of stuff. There's a lot of convenience out there, but it's, it's fake and it's not going to help you out health wise. And you're just going to end up ingesting. 
poisons. So just just keep that in mind, guys. Keep it up. Hang in there. Um, do I still get cravings? I, I think sometimes I will just get these fleeting, like instant flash cravings where it's like, I think I was driving down the road today and all of a sudden now, again, I'm not trying to endorse certain foods because keep in mind when I have a craving doesn't mean that I used to love it. It just means that every once in a while, I used to enjoy something. So when I tell you, don't make fun of me, because some people find this disgusting. Some people may agree with me. But every once in a while, I would want to have a filet of fish from McDonald's. (laughs) Okay. I know the piece of cod that's deep fried and, you know, a slice of cheese, like, you know, probably the processed cheese with the the tartar sauce and stuff. And and it's not like I used to love filet of fish. It's just that I just, for some reason today popped in. I was like, Hey, I could go for a filet of fish. And it was like that quick. And I'm like, no, no. So yes, even over five months in day 159, I still get these flash cravings. Again, remember guys, we see advertisements on TV. We drive by billboards. We just were out and about. You go through YouTube. You see people on YouTube or the internet praising food or talking about food or look what I made or or look how many chicken nuggets I can eat or whatever. You see things all the time. So subliminally, you're going to take in a lot of messaging as well and all those deep habits, all those deep thoughts. So I just wanted to remind you guys, when you're out and about, remember, you are getting that, you're receiving that programming. You just have to consciously say, I'm good. I don't need your tasty poison. I got some lovely meat, some bacon, some eggs, things that make me feel good on a long-term basis. Not, you know, uh, 15 seconds of endorphins or something. I'm talking long-term good where you feel good the rest of the day, the week, everything, because you're eating good foods, okay? Remember that, guys. All right, we will see you tomorrow, day 160. And remember, thank you all so, so much. Um, I hope you like the shirt. Again, allcarnivoreinfo.com. Guys, I've had so many good suggestions. Um, But, oh, and we did get, um, for the donation link, we, we have more than just PayPal now. We do have the credit debit card stuff um, up there as well. I wanted to remind you guys because I know some of you actually was like messaging me saying, hey, I don't do PayPal. Do you have, you know, so it is in there. Also, um, for some of you that were communicating with me, you'll notice I had to use like my paranormal email. <laughs> but now we have um, some new emails You can reach me at allcarnivoreinfo at gmail.com or you can actually reach me at the site email with uh, customer service at allcarnivoreinfo.com. We have our own email system as well. So I got that up and running. So either way, you should probably see less of my paranormal emails and more of official all carnivore info emails. But you guys are amazing. Like I said, I've had you guys have been helping to build the website and that's what I asked for. I asked your guys' help. You guys are, but I also want to keep reminding you guys, because don't forget while you're out there doing your, your daily videos of carnivore stuff, just remember if you see something that you like and you're like, you know what, this, this was, this is good information to know. Send me the link, please. That's all I'm asking. Just while you guys are out there, think of me and send me the link. All right, guys. um, I love you, and I will talk with you all tomorrow, day 160. Bye.